It's the middle of springtime here on our land in North Idaho, and we find ourselves surrounded with renewed life and beauty and filled with excitement and anticipation for the groundbreaking step we're about to take. In this episode, family joins us from out of town as we finally break ground and begin to prepare the foundation for our new home in the meadow where the mobile home used to sit. And unfortunately, we're faced with a pretty big problem that's going to require a change of plans. We are Hidden Creek Family Ranch, a three-generational family teaming up to build our homestead from scratch in North Idaho. We left the infamous rat race of Southern California nearly one year ago and have fully enriched our lives, immersing ourselves in nature, experiencing the four true seasons, and living a slower paced, more balanced and healthy lifestyle, all revolving around family, self-sufficiency, and interdependence. arrived. We have Alan and Kim and Roxanne and Rich and Jackson here. And for the second time, my mom is going to drive her massive motorhome across this narrow bridge. The complicating factor now is that it's a little bit darker than it was the first time she did it. So we got this. I'm just going to say a little prayer real quick. Amazing. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Sharing this place and this experience with our family is invaluable to us because we've never had the time or space to do anything like this before. And we hope that by sharing our experience of building this family compound style homestead, other families will be inspired to do the same because there's immeasurable strength in unity of family. When Nate shows up tomorrow, he can begin his excavation. We officially have the exact angles all figured out, so we know exactly where our front door is going to be, which is where I'm standing right now. This will be our view, looking out over the meadow. We got some really good news, and I almost cried tears of joy. After we laid everything out and figured out our setbacks from the property line, um, Joel determined that we get to keep our aspen trees. We thought that we were going to have to take them down, but right now it's looking like they're going to stay. And I couldn't be more thrilled because the whole layout, the whole placement of this house was in trying to avoid disturbing that grove back there. And it looks like we're going to be able to pull it off. So I am more than thrilled completely ecstatic about this and David's living vicariously through me right now because he's on another trip. He's in Washington DC. Um, but we are very excited to say that we finally, after all of these years of planning and preparing, we break ground tomorrow morning. Our first day of excavation is going really well. We have Nate out here with his excavator and he is felling the one and only tree that we hope to remove from our build site. And he's breaking ground today, digging up the soil to create the footprint for our house. 
If you missed our previous episode, Nate used this excavator to essentially push our mobile home out of the way into a new and temporary location so that we can build our house right here in this meadow where the mobile home used to sit. If you're interested in watching that episode, I'll put a link in the description down below. This meadow has a mild and gradual slope from the back end to what will be the front of the house. So along that whole back edge, Nate has to excavate digging down about like two and a half to three feet deep. Whereas the front edge of the house, he's really only going to have to go down, I think about maybe like eight to 10 inches in order to create a nice level substrate for a foundation. So I am following Joel out to the excavation site, that far deep corner that Nate is digging down about two and a half or three feet. Apparently they've run into a problem and it looks like we might have to change our plans a bit. Oh wow, we are ready to hit the water table. challenge today and the reality is that throughout this entire process of building our house and building our homestead we're going to be faced with challenge after challenge after challenge our opportunity here is that we get to share those challenges with you and also share with you the solutions that we come up with so that you can see how we overcome these challenges to meet our goals thanks so much for sticking around with us up to this point if you haven't yet please hit subscribe click that notification bell and we'll see you in the next episode